Hey folks, Johnny Flyer here, and uh, this is a special request video, and uh, I got a, a question uh, about how one might use the airbrush to paint the Mystic Station, and I'm also continuing, as you can probably tell, on the Mystic Station here into the final steps of her refurbishing the, uh, the Mystic Station. So I've got her all taped up, and uh, as I found in doing some of this stuff, the um, you know, the real challenge is in doing the tape right first. And so trying to get good right angles and coverage um, correlates directly to how good your paint looks like um, when you're done. So uh, this particular video is for Dave, um, who is a, uh, with a, he may not know it, but a mentor of mine, but um, his videos were kind of inspiration for why I started doing these. And so uh, he asked, if I could kind of show how the airbrush uh, procedure would work to paint um, this particular thing, in a, I guess in comparison to how a, um, a I guess a spray paint can might work. Um, so the answer is a little bit different, but um, in this case, uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go after it with my airbrush here. I've got uh, my paint mixed, as you can tell, a little bit in the can. And this is acrylic, so I do want to kind of move quickly here. Um, and so I'm going to try to, uh, let's see, what I'm going to have to do is probably turn on the, um, the compressor. It's going to get a little bit loud because I'd like to do this at about 20% PSI, which is a little bit lower. Uh, so excuse me as the noise starts, and I'll do a little spray in here and kind of show you what I mean. So what I like about the airbrush over the oh boy, about that, there we go. What I like about the airbrush over spray paint cans is you can be very very deliberate about how much paint um, you're putting on here, and you can really get the color exactly the way you want. So as you can tell right now, I'm getting sort of a pink color, sort of contrast color, um, and I'm also right-handed. It makes this a little bit more difficult. Um, but I'm going to keep on kind of going at it like this. I'm going to try to be as precise as I can on the corners um, to make sure that uh, the paint and the corners doesn't bleed through. I also used a paint technique or a tape technique that, um, that uh, was recommended by Dave, um, wherein you take this blue tape, which likes to pull off paint, as I found out, um, but you put it on your pant leg a couple times and um, takes care of some of the sticky, and hopefully that's gonna save me redoing some paint, we'll see. So I'm gonna stop it here and do a little painting on this side, and uh, I'll, I'll do an after video here in just a second. And here's the first coat. I've gone all the way around here and it's fairly even, which is nice. Another added benefit of using the airbrush, if you use it right, is that uh, you do get a nice kind of an even run on it. I see a couple spots now in the light that I need to go back over and cover one more time. Um, but yeah, this is gonna, I think, turn out okay. I saw one spot where the tape had come up right over here, so I hope that's not tightening some bad things coming, because uh, that's gonna be a pain to have to go back and retape and repaint and everything else, especially with white paint. But, um, so far so good. All right, now I'll get the tape off, and um, if I'm really, really honest, I don't know that I'm happy with the results. So you can probably see from here, there's a little bit of overspray, there's a little bit of, so when I took the tape off, some, some of the paint came with it. Um, this one's actually not too bad. But um, yeah, this side didn't come out as well as I wanted. This is probably the worst side though. Um, you can see there's just some, Top right there, there's some lines that kind of bled over, um, definitely near the window, some lines that bled over. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do, rather than going back and trying to spray, uh, there's some other, that, that really got messed up there. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go find a paint marker, get a white paint marker, go back, clean the lines up just a little bit, and uh, we'll call it a day here. Um, nearing final stages here, and, um, you know, the colors are definitely the right colors. I'm very happy with the color, color choices. And as that dries a little more, I think we're going to find that that uh, comes out very nicely. Because um, it's, pretty, it's pretty dry, but I think that's going to just cure just a little bit more overnight. So, so I went back and did a little cleanup work. 
with a toothpick, and this is a technique I completely forgot about. Uh, I did this a while back when I was modeling consistently, but if you take a flat-edged toothpick and you run it on your right angles before the, the paint really sets really well, you can clean up your, um, your paint lines a little better. So you can see I went down through the whole thing and cleaned up about 90% of it. And so it is much, much cleaner than it was uh, just a minute ago <clears throat> to the point where I was ready to go ahead and just put the whole thing together and um, I'll put a roof on it. Here pretty soon I've got a roof that just came in that I'm going to clean up. I've got the uh, the motors running well. I have a record, uh, which is really, really cool, um, that uh, I'll show you here in, in a new video. Uh, but the, yeah, that's my paint video. And, and so um, is it a, a improvement on spray painting? I, I think so because I can control the paint a little better. I control the, the, the pigment of the paint a little better. And now that this paint's really starting to settle a little more, I'm, I'm liking it better. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy with, with the, uh, with the airbrush. It takes a little time to put this together and you do have to do some maintenance on your tools when you're done, just to make sure that, um, your airbrush doesn't get all gummed up with paint, which is very bad. Um, but for the most part, I, I think where this came out was about where it could, um, short of some, a little bit more professional things that I, I probably... Uh, could have got my hands on, but um, you know, again, I'm trying to do this as a as a guy at home who's a, an American flyer, a flyer aficionado, uh, aficionado, if I can pronounce that word correctly. Um, and uh, I'm looking to at least try to prove out ways that you can do this relatively inexpensively and save the the airbrush system here. Um, most of this is done with things I have around the house, with things I have already uh, acquired just by virtue of living in my home, or um, I can get on the cheap, and that was uh, part of my lesson and some of the um, uh, good friend of mine hooked me up with the, with the dollar store lesson while I continue to go back and hit that, that well up, and, and man, the dollar store is, uh, is your friend. That will be one of my mantras, I think. So anyway, folks, here's the uh, the end result of at least the building structure of the Mystic Station. And I'm, I may do a little more, one more pass with like a paint marker or two, um, just to kind of clean it up just a bit on the lines. But um, at this point, I, I I don't think I want to go play with it too much more. It's it's looking pretty good. The lines are okay, and the the color contrast really works for me. So got the doors put back in. These look really good. And got our front door over here. Uh, I wired that up just for just kind of look and see how it would uh, come off. Obviously, I have to mount the bottom part here into the the base. And um, last but not least, we're going to have to find some some windows to go in here. Uh, I have a collection of old windows that have come with previous sets. Uh, as you can see, they are not in the best shape. So I think what I'm going to do is just order a new new set to go in here, and I'll glue them in. Uh, but uh, I'm going to start doing a little wiring and uh, put this together. I, I want to go do one more functions check on the uh, the radio or sorry the record player, and just make sure while well, I still have 100% access to it. And other than that, this thing is ready to rock. Thanks for watching, everybody.